please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. I remember when it was just like yesterday when Derrick Rose was drafted. Shoot, I remember that freaking NCAA championship game they played against Kansas when he was on Memphis. That overtime thriller. Well... About two hours late. But Derrick Rose announced his retirement from the NBA. At one point in time, he was probably one of the most dynamic, most exciting players to watch in the NBA before the dreadful 2012 playoffs came around. And Tom Thibodeau refused to take him out for some reason. And then tragedy struck. Torn ACL in a game he had no business being in after the Bulls were up 20 points against the Philadelphia 76ers. And it pretty much spelled the end for at least Derrick Rose stardom, superstardom. And he's pretty much never the same player ever again. Damn, I just made a video about Derrick Rose and what could have been with him not that long ago. It's crazy. Well, I think some people saw this coming. There was a writing on the wall with Derrick Rose. It was only a matter of time. Let's see something right quick. Plays, it doesn't even seem like he played 16 years in the NBA. Doesn't even seem like it's 16 years. He's quoted saying, knowing that I gave my all to the game, I feel confident in my decision, he told ESPN. Basketball was just the beginning for me now. Or it was just the beginning for me. Now it's important that I give it all to my family and they deserve that. Rose 35 announced his decision on social media Thursday morning. Early Thursday morning. Seems like. Well... I am three hours behind everybody. He also took out full page ads in local newspapers of the six NBA cities he played in. Chicago, New York, Cleveland, Minneapolis, Detroit, and Memphis to thank each fan base. The Memphis Grizzlies had granted Rose's request to let him out his final year of his contract earlier in the week. Rose arrived in the league as the number one overall pick in 2008 draft. Going to his hometown Chicago Bulls, the 6'3 guard quickly emerged as one of the NBA's most assigned young stars, dominating and dazzling with his combination of athleticism and fierceness. He won the 2008-09 Rookie of the Year, and when I was an all-star for the next three seasons, he became the youngest MVP in NBA history, winning the honor as a 22-year-old in 2010-11 season. He averaged 25 points and 7 assists per game to lead the Bulls to the league best 60 and 20, uh, 62 and 20 record to become before they made their run to the Eastern Conference Finals. Like I said before, his superstardom trajectory was taken from him when the ACL was torn in the 2012 playoffs. Missed the next season and was only limited to 10 games in the 2013-14 season. Soon traded to the Chicago Bulls after their eight-year run. I mean, I said Chicago Bulls. New York Knicks after his eight-year run with the Bulls during the 2016 offseason. I thought it was the 15 offseason. I thought it was the 15 offseason when he was traded. And I could be wrong. It's 2016. 
He was a journeyman in the second half of his career as he was often hampered by injuries. He finished his career with an average of 17.4 points a game, 5 assists in 723 games played, including 518 starts. He only played 77 games over the last three seasons, including 24 in his lone season in Memphis, the city where he started on a college team that advanced to the 2008 national team. And everybody remembers, I think this, his last big out in points was that 50-point game when he was on Minnesota. Derrick Rose was a MVP, three-time All-Star. He was on the NBA first team one time. He said early rookie of the year in 09. All rookie first team in 09 as well. College-wise, third-team All-American, AP in 08. First-team parade All-American 07. Third-team parade All-American 05. Fourth-team parade All-American 06. In high school, of course. McDonald's All-American and Illinois Mr. Basketball. He didn't win two gold medals in the FIBA World Cup, 2010 Turkey and 2010, no, 2014 Spain. Let's see here. For college, he was actually named NCAA Tournament All-Final Four team. He was the uh, South Region MVP for that tournament as well. They didn't put that on there. He was also Skills Challenge Champion on 09. Uh, Conference USA Freshman of the Year. All Conference USA First Team. Conference USA All Freshman First Team. 2K Sports College Hoops Classic MVP. 2K Sports College Hoops Classic All tournament team when he was on Memphis. I forgot about his shoe endorsement with Adidas. It didn't last long. They were still making D-roll shoes up until like three, four years ago, I think. I don't even think it was four years ago. It could have been five years ago. But yep, Derrick Rose has called it quits. Man. Like I said in the previous video, probably about a month and a half ago, what could have been with his career, it could have been, if it wasn't for Tom Thibodeau, he could have been a superstar. He could have been, shoot, he worked on his jump shot. He could have been better than, I don't think, I don't know. I can't say we would be talking about Stephen Curry or Russell Westbrook or like that, but he would have been up there when it came to superstardom. I don't know if Chicago Bulls would have won rings. Maybe if he didn't get injured, they built around him. Who knows? A lot of could have been. But shout out to Derrick Rose on a lengthy career in the NBA. Shout out to him. 